Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we will try to create a quiz application with ChatGPT and we will use Python for that. So here, let's type write me Python code to create a quiz application. So this is a basic prompt. Let's press enter. So here it is generating this code. Alright, so this is the code that it generated and uh, here we can see we have some questions over here in this uh, array and then we have this code to display the questions. So let's copy this code from here and let's open VS Code and I have already installed Python on my system. So let's click on new file and let's create a new file. I'll just call it main.py and let's paste the code over here and let's see whether it runs. So let's click on run. And here we can see it has this question and we can go ahead and enter the answer over here. So if I just type 2 and press enter, we have the next question and uh, the answer of the correct question is displayed over here. It was correct. Now let's go ahead and add a wrong answer. So I just type 4 and press enter. And here we can see it says incorrect. And then we have another question. Let's add some random option. Let's press enter. And now here we can see that the quiz has ended and uh, here we have got two out of three questions correct. So this application is working all right. Right now you can go ahead and add new questions over here. So you can just create an object and create a question, then options and also the correct answer. Now let's ask ChatGPT to create a GUI for this application. So let's type update the code with the GUI of this application and let's press enter. And here we can see it has generated this code for the GUI and it is using the tkinter library for this. And here we also have the instruction on how to use this code. So let's go ahead and copy this code from here. And let's go back to our application and here I'll just select all of this and paste the new code. Right now let's see whether this works. So let's click on run. And here we have this application and it doesn't have the correct size. So let's click on start quiz. And here we have all these uh, questions over here. So here we can see every question is in a new window. So let's go ahead and fix that. And here we also have this input field for entering the answers. So what we will do is we will ask ChatGPT to make all of these options radio buttons. And we'll also ask it to have all of this inside a same window. So let's just close this. And let's go back to ChatGPT. And let's write the prompt. I'll just type update the code with the following changes and you can just press shift and enter to go to the next line. So here first of all we'll just type all the questions should be inside the same window. The whole application should have a single window and then let's type the options of the questions should be clickable. No need to add the input field. Right now let's press enter and let's see what it gives. So here it has generated this code. So let's go ahead and copy. And here in VS Code, let's paste the code. And let's see whether it works. So let's click on run. And here we have the quiz application. We need to increase the size of this window. So let's press start quiz. And here we have a new window for the questions. But we have just one window for all the three questions. So that's an improvement. And here we also have these buttons for the options. So let's select one of these options and here it has an error it says tkinter has no attribute message box so let's go ahead and copy this error and uh, let's go back to chat gpt and let's type it is giving me this error and let's paste the error message over here and press enter Right, I hope it has corrected the code. So here it says we need to import the message box from tkinter. So let's copy this code and uh, let's go back to VS Code and let's paste the code over here. And uh, let's press run. Let's click on start quiz. And here we have the question. 
let's click on one of these options and it says correct let's click on ok and here we have the next question so let's click on one of these options and this is incorrect let's click on ok it is still on this question so let's click on one of these options once again incorrect let's click on ok and when the answer is incorrect it doesn't go forward so let's click on the correct answer and it still says incorrect so we need to fix that let's go back to chat gpt and here let's say for the second question it displays the message incorrect even if the answer is right please fix that and also increase the width and height of the quiz window so let's press enter so here it has given us this updated code so now let's go ahead and copy this code and let's go back to vs code and i just paste the code over here now when working with chat gpt you won't get the correct code in the first try you may have to write a lot of prompts to generate the right code for you so let's press on run so let's click on start quiz or right, let's press on one of these uh, options and it says correct let's click on ok and here we have the next question let's click on the incorrect answer and let's click on ok and uh, it doesn't go to the next question so let's click on the correct answer and it still has the problem of displaying the incorrect answer even for the correct answer let's go ahead and start this quiz once again let's click on the incorrect answer for the first one it says incorrect and let's click on the correct answer and we are going to the next question let's click on the correct answer and for the second one it says incorrect let's go back to chat gpt and let's ask what's the problem let's type the problem is still not solved for the second question it displays a pop-up of incorrect and uh, doesn't move on to the next question also increase the width and the height of the main window where the start quiz button is located let's press enter so here it has given us this updated code and uh, let's click on copy code let's go back to vs code and let's paste the code over here and uh, let's see whether this works let's click on play and here we have this start quiz button let's click on start quiz and here we have this quiz let's click on the right answer and here it says correct for the second one let's click on the wrong answer it says incorrect and we are still on the second question and if we click on the right answer it says correct and we can click on ok now it goes to the third question right now let's click on one of these answers and it says incorrect and let's click on the correct answer and it says correct and if we click on ok here we have this result you got three out of three questions correct now the main problem over here is that uh, the quiz doesn't go forward when we have the wrong answer so at the end we will always have the full marks for our quiz so let's fix that let's go back to chat gpt and here let's type update the code with the following changes let's press shift enter and first of all let's type the quiz should move on to the next question even if the answer is wrong or right, the next thing we will do is we will tell it to add some colors to the ui and make it good looking we'll also ask it to increase the size of the start quiz button and let's also ask it to have the quiz on the same window as the start quiz button so let's tap display the questions on the same window as the start quiz button window and let's see whether it is able to do all of this so let's press enter and here we finally have the updated code so let's copy this and let's see whether we have all the changes needed so let's paste the code over here and let's click on run 
and here we can see we have some interesting ui over here let's click on start quiz and it still displays the questions in a separate window so i'll just let it be and we have some problems in the ui we don't have the correct colors so it doesn't look good on this background so let's see whether the quiz is working all right so let's click on the wrong answer it says incorrect let's click on ok and here we are still on the first question let's click on the correct answer and now we go to the second question and if we click on the incorrect answer we don't go to the next question so this bug is still there right now we have the third question and uh, here we have the result let's click on ok and uh, let's go ahead and uh, make the changes so let's go ahead and uh, let's type the issue is still there the next question is not displayed when the incorrect answer is selected i want the app to display the next question even if the answer is incorrect please update the code let's press enter here we have the updated code and it stopped writing the code after this line of code so let's copy from this line and i'll just copy it till here and let's copy it into vs code let's go back and i'll just cut all of this code from here and let's paste the code right now let's see whether this works so let's click on run let's click on start quiz and uh, let's click on the wrong answer and we are still taken to the next question now let's click on the right answer and we are taken to the next question and uh, let's click on the wrong answer once again and now we can see we have the result but it still says you have three out of three questions answered correctly we have given two wrong answers but still we have a score of three now for this i'll just go back to the code and i'll just make the changes over here so let's see what's the problem here we have the score variable and uh, here when the answer is incorrect we are still adding the score of one so i'll just delete this line of code from here and uh, here for the question label we are displaying the questions based on the score so if the score does not increment then the next question will not be displayed over here so let's create a variable over here and let's call it question number and i'll just set it to zero by default and uh, here i'll just copy this line of code and here i'll just type question number now the next thing we need to do is we need to increment the question number by one every time we display a question so here we can see that when we have the correct answer we are incrementing the score by one and when we don't have the correct answer we are not incrementing the score but we need to increment the question number even if the answer is incorrect so for that let's go outside this if condition so this line of code will be executed even if the answer is right or wrong so let's type question number plus equals one so this will increment the question number by one every time we display a question now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to change all this score to question numbers because in this code we are getting the questions based on the score so we need to change this to question number and we need to do the same for all the other instances so let's copy this and let's paste it over here and we need to do that for this line of code and here as well and the next thing is that we are comparing the score variable to the length of the quiz so we need to change this to question number as well right now this code should work so let's click on run and let's click on start quiz and here we have the first question so let's click on one of these options and it says incorrect and here we have the next question let's click on the correct answer and it says correct and uh, let's click on the wrong answer once again and now we can see we have a score of one out of three so the quiz is working all right now let's go ahead and make some basic changes so i'll just change this color so let's go back and uh, here we can see that for the question label here we have all these options so we can just type fg for the foreground and we can just change the color so i'll just change this to black and we will do the same for the score label so i'll just type fg equals black and now let's run this and let's click on start quiz and here we can see that we have the correct color and uh, 
everything is working all right so now we can see it says two out of three questions correct so the quiz is working all right so that was basically my experience of creating a simple game using chat gpt now here we can see that we have a lot of comments in this code so we are able to understand which lines of code does what so that's basically how you can create an application with chat gpt now when writing code with chat gpt it can help you a lot if you know some programming so you can go ahead and make changes on your own and a lot of times chat gpt doesn't give you the correct answer or the correct code so you have to go ahead and make some changes on your own so that's basically it for this video if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day